Okay, little test. Right now I'm running a 1972 Johnson Evinrude electric shift motor. Uh, basically what's going on is the shifter, which shifts from forward to neutral to reverse, that little tiny part is dead. It's not turning on, it's not working. Because of that, I'm not looking at spending $250 for a switch. I built off a little Arduino Uno, running some code. If you notice that the green lights is turning on one or both or the other, realize. This will be all built in, waterproofed, and have waterproof larger buttons. Uh, this here is going to be making sure that everything is disabled unless it is in the throttle is throttled all the way down to the lowest possible shift point. Basically, when the unit first turns on, it will automatically shift into green only, which is going to be neutral. So that's going to be your green wire. Um, if you have green and blue turned on, which would be reverse, so I'll hold the pressure switch and switch it into reverse. It will automatically switch into reverse, which is both, which will be your green and blue wire. You'll shift it into neutral, which will be just your green wire only, and you'll shift it into forward, which will be no wires. Now, if you accidentally press forward again, it will stay no wires. If you press reverse, it will shift into neutral, then shift into reverse after one second. That second can be longer and delayed, so if you go from reverse into forward, it will shift into neutral first, then shift into forward. And switching it into neutral will keep it in neutral. If you accidentally press the same button multiple times, I have that disabled, so you don't have that problem of jumping between neutral and reverse. Um, that's going to just basically be those relays going out to the 12 volt down into the lower unit, which will be the green and, and blue wires. So again, reverse, shifts into neutral first. If you push right to forward, it'll go into neutral first, and then go into forward and go back into neutral whenever you need to. And if you let go of this presser switch, which lets it know that the uh, shift is not in full throttle, going back down to low throttle, any of the shifts won't be able to shift unless you are at that lower point where you can't push forward anymore. Now right now, I haven't installed it yet, this is just kind of a test, so within the next week or two I'll be, um, as soon as the parts come in, I'll be installing it into the boat and then probably within the next month I'll have the video up for it.